Okay, so in this video, what we will do is uh, have our terminal look like this with nice icons and that show where we are and also have other suggestions uh, when we type something. So um, yeah, so uh, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that uh, we want to do is to install oh my ZSH. So uh, let's look for it. All right, so uh, the first uh, link is the one to go. And uh, right here, what we want to do is uh, to follow the instructions. So we click on this install and it will get us to this uh, command line. It will be using CURL or curl, depending on how you want to pronounce it. But uh, it will just uh, download the install and run it from there. So uh, let's do that. Let's open a terminal. Let's paste the command. Right now on Ubuntu, it says it's not installed. Uh, what I uh, will do is that I will install CURL because that might be useful for me in the future. So let me just install it real quick. That's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do is copy this command here. Copy, paste. All right, so now that we have CURL installed, we can use this command to uh, download the install script for OhMyZSH. So let's paste in the command. So uh, what we want to do is uh, install ZSH first. So let's do that, sudo apt install ZSH and uh, hit yes. Okay, so now we have ZSH installed. Let's try again this command. Let's paste it. And uh, cloning on my ZSH, I have not git installed. So the next thing to do is that I have to install git. So to do so, sudo up install git. Yes. All right, so one more time, paste. And now we have the, the script working. So do we want to change the default shell to ZSH? By default is yes, so just hit enter. Then you put the password. And then you are greeted with this. Okay, so now that we uh, just installed on my ZSH, what we want to do is install the power level 10K um, theme so that it looks very nice. We will be able to choose the icons and the style, of, uh, the style of the terminal and that will be looking very amazing. So the first thing to do is look on uh, Google for oh my ZSH power level 10k and uh, we go onto the GitHub page right here and we will make our terminal look like this. So um, if we go to the installation here on my ZSH, it will show us this. If we just uh, install this uh, on my ZSH, we can clone the theme directly to the themes folder and we uh, just have to enable it uh, very easily. So let's do that. Paste. And uh, while it is uh, cloning, I know there is a, a font that we need to install uh, to download and install. So um, if we go back here to the top, we have the font uh, section. And in the font, we see the, the font that we need to download, install, and then configure for every for your, your terminal, that, uh, the terminal that you are using. So uh, the first thing uh, that we want to do is click these files. So it will download them. All right, so after it has been downloaded, you, uh, you will find them in the downloads folder here. So now with them being downloaded, what we want to do is open the, the installer of the, of, the, of the font by double clicking it and then just install it. Okay, so after you install the font, you can close this and close this. And um, what you can do, so this has been uh, downloaded, but uh, we, it has not been activated yet. 
So uh, the first thing that we want to do is uh, configure the font for the terminal and then activate the template and run the wizard. So um, to do that, let's take a look at what we have. Uh, let's, let's look at the options here. Apparently we don't have much options. Okay, so since I'm using uh, GNOME console instead of uh, terminal here, um, to change the font, I have to, to use uh, GNOME tweaks and apparently go to fonts and then the monospace one, mess regular, select. So now it seems to have changed, I guess this is the one. So it seems to have changed. And uh, the next thing that we need to do now, since the font is solved, we want to go to the installation and then after it has been downloaded, we need to configure it. Let's find, uh, where is that from? Yeah, we need to edit this file again. So, uh, bim, paste. And then let's look for theme. Uh, okay, this one here. And uh, the theme that we want to say there. Um, where is it? On my ZSH. So we clone this and then set the theme here. So we, the theme that we need to say is this. So let's insert, paste, escape, write and quit. Perfect. So now in theory, if you open it back again, yeah, it prompts us with the wizard to install the thing. So uh, does this look like, an, like a diamond rotated square? And the answer is uh, yes. Does this look like a lock? Yes. Does this look like an upward arrow? Yes. Do all these icons fit between the crosses? Yes. And they do because we just installed the font. So yes. And now we need to choose our type of uh, our theme basically. So uh, the one I like is this one. So I'm gonna write three. Uh, Unicode, yes. Which one, which one, which one? So character set, uh, let's choose first one. And then uh, no. And then let's choose the first one, first one, first one. And I always prefer one, one line uh, compared to uh, under uh, the thing, so one. And then I prefer the sparse. And I prefer the verbose, I mean the one that shows all the icons. And so I always choose two here. And the prompt, I want it to be uh, two, five seconds and so on. I prefer the, the fluent one as well. So enable transient prompt, what does this mean? No, I prefer this to show on every line. So let's say no. And then um, verbose recommended, yes. Apply the changes, yes. And then that's it. And now we have the theme. So if I open it back again, now I have the, 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 the theme and it works perfectly fine. And um, the next plugin that we want to install for all my ZSH is the autocomplete. Let's look for it. Okay, so the plugin that we want to install is ZSH Auto Suggestions. So we click here, and uh, what we want to do is go to the install. And uh, since we use all my ZSH, we will we will uh, use this command. Paste. And uh, since I already downloaded it. Uh, what we want to do is just enable it. So just go to the next step. We need to the we need to go to the plugins and uh, enable the other suggestions. It's the ZSH file here. Yeah. 
so this and then we look for the plugins and here we press I and then we can insert and we want to insert this paste and we have we have it here so press escape then write and quit and then we need to start the terminal again to have the, the feature so sudo and now we have the feature and it auto completes and that's great so I like um, vim it will remember the last file that I opened and so on so thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and comment it will help me a lot and uh, stay tuned for the next video that I uh, have uh, it will suggest to uh, use it again if I press tab it will I hate it I hate it so much